Running through the bowels of the ship. Looking for... Ooh, a sniper. Ooh, I killed a sniper at close range. Is this a fake video? <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. All right, guys. What's going on? It's Thunder. And I'm excited, fellas. Not not super excited, but I'm I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited. I've been watching a lot of COD Ghost gameplay. And I know, I know. I do this every year. I get so excited. I want Call of Duty to be good. I need Call of Duty to be good because that's my game, damn it. But... It's just shit. <laughs> it's just the last two years. It's just, and you could even make an argument even longer than that. It's just been shit. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to recapture the magic, guys. I wanna, I wanna have that COD fever back again. I wanna be excited about Call of Duty. I wanna, when I tell people I'm a Call of Duty player, I wanna say it with pride, not like, uh, yeah, I play Call of Duty. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't wanna be embarrassed, man. I wanna be proud of my game. And Call of Duty Ghost is looking good. Damn, I know this video is going to get used against me in December. But it's looking good right now, goddammit. <laughs> and uh, as you see right now, I'm in a game here on Hijacked. And I played today, fellas. And this is the first time I've played Black Ops 2 in a while. I haven't gone anywhere near this game in a long time. But I wasn't really that rusty. I was still laying the smack down, getting, carrying the team, getting lots of good scores. Just making it look easy, people. And imagine if Black Ops had destructible environments and you go up in a load star and you could actually sink this boat and kill everyone in it. <laughs> Man, that would be fucking crazy. And the load star on this map is just too sweet, isn't it? I mean, look at this shit. <laughs> just raining down the pain and BAM! Give me that triple, son. Splash. Carrying the team as usual, people. Had a damn fine game here. And end it with a little splash from the load star. <laughs> Splashing in the ocean, baby. Here we go. Bam, bitch. Get owned. Uh, yeah, I played a bunch of games today, man. I'm surprised I even got... I'll tell you what, man. What is up with the Black Ops 2 matchmaking? And uh, have you guys ever noticed this? When you're in the pregame lobby, it, because I was playing with a, um, a bunch of dudes that recognized me today, and they're like, oh, Thunder, yeah, I'm on your team. Then all of a sudden, the teams got mixed up. Then they were on the other team. Then they got mixed up again. They swapped back and forth. I mean, the same, the same 12 guys in the lobby... The same 12 guys, but we kept getting switched up. I was on this team, then I was on that team, this team, that team. I was like, oh my god, what is going on here? I mean, Treyarch, what are you trying to do? You trying to you trying to fix the matchmaking so I always play against snipers and shotgunners? Is that what you're trying to do? Trying to troll me? The thunder algorithm? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, eat that C4 sandwich, baby. So, guys, I got a whole lot of red spicy Dorito chip and a whole lot of C4 sandwich. So, I hope you guys are hungry. hope you guys brought your appetite to this video here. And I want to talk about some interesting stuff. And um, I'm done talking about the matchmaking in this game, the crazy-ass matchmaking. I just, I've never seen anything like that before where it's like <laughs> the teams get mixed up like five or six times, maybe even more, before the game even starts. I mean, dude, you, now you're going to try and tell me skill-based matchmaking doesn't exist, Treyarch? <laughs> Whatever happened to the good old days where just 12 guys get in the lobby, and then six on this team, six on that team, then the game just starts. Whatever happened to the good old days, man, before you try and manipulate the matchmaking? Just, <laughs> just whatever, dude. Anyway. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I want to talk about some shit in Call of Duty Ghost, man. First of all, all you people telling me there's no EMP grenade in Call of Duty Ghost. Eh. Check the description. Check the description. I've got a link that proves you wrong. Uh, there is a 9-bang flashbang grenade. There's a 9-bang tactical grenade in Call of Duty Ghosts. And this is a very interesting grenade. What it is, is a charged flashbang grenade. And the longer you charge it the more effective the flash is and also if you fully cook this nine bang it has an EMP effect so the EMP is in the game it's, a, it's an EMP flashbang combination but you've got to cook it you've got to charge it you can't just run around spamming them like throwing them quick like you can in this game you know you throw the EMP grenades real quick and you know me I always use EMP grenades fellas because I'm a TDM player man and points are hard to come by in TDM oh that care package almost landed on my damn head uh, point. I know I forgot to throw my first care package too. Sometimes when you're just pwning some ass, you, you forget your care packages, man. But uh, EMP grenades essential for me in TDM because just a uh, Treyarch disrespected TDM. It just grossly, uh, gross negligence. A lot of gross negligence going on with the uh, point values here for the TDM streaks. Um, so I use my EMP grenades a lot just because they get me a lot of EMP assist points. You know, they blow up a lot of equipment. Just It's kind of like having an extra set of Hardline. That fresh employee discount, uh, Hardline Pro. <laughs> you know I always run Hardline in this game. Man, watch this, fellas. Watch this. I should have got a C4 there, but my EMP... Fuck me. This dude misses me with a knife. <laughs> you trying to knife me, son? That's a new move. Trying to knife me. Look at this. Look at that. I run out of ammo. Oh, my God. That would have been sick. Damn. <laughs> 
Get beasted, Thunder. Get beasted. Oh my god, dude. Uh, uh, damn, I had to EMP. See, I had to go and EMP myself. That's a new move in itself. I EMP'd my own C4. That would have been sweet, but I thought that was a fun clip, man. And that game right there, <laughs> that game right there, I just played that double VSAT you just saw. If I had my dogs unlocked, I would have hit 50 kills that game. I would have hit 50. That's all I'm saying. I would have had a 50 kill TDM that game. But, um, yeah, so the EMP's coming back, fellas. It's a 9-bang grenade. Um, it looks like the strong arm perk is going to be useful with, if you're running that grenade. Like if you're running the um, nine bang grenade with um, scavenger and you can keep resupplying them. Um, you're going to want to run strong arm because strong arm is going to let you throw shit farther and charge things quicker. So you could charge the nine bang a lot faster. So as you see here, you know, we first saw the strong arm perk. You were like, charge faster. You know, who, who cares if you could cook something faster. But now we know about the nine bang. So that's cool. It might be OP. I don't know. But I know one thing with all the satcoms laying all over the ground and guys you could really use satcoms to your advantage man because you take out a satcom and it adds as a point towards your own streak <laughs> so i'm telling you man not only can you have your own satcom used against you with the wiretap but you can also have the enemy just easily knife it or throw a nine bang at it take it out and get a point and help them build their own assault streak so you support runners out there that like spamming satcoms Whew, you might be doing more harm than good fellas <laughs> you might be doing more harm than good and another thing i want to talk about guys is Boosting something near and dear <laughs> to all of our hearts. We, we we all hate boosters, right? Well, except the boosters themselves. But most people despise boosters. And I have a feeling that we're going to see a major boosting problem in Call of Duty Ghosts. Even worse than what we saw here in Black Ops 2. Uh, check this out, guys. Here's my reasoning for this, right? So the boosters in Ghosts. I mean, you've got the Keemstrike. You've got the Moab. You've got titles. You've got patches. You've got no theater mode. The kill feed has been removed from under the minimap to the other side of the screen, so you're not going to be paying attention to it. And look at this, look at this dude. Oh, he had flak jacket on. Damn, son. Why are you going to be wearing a flak jacket? Why are you wearing a flak jacket? How come we don't have lightweight on like everybody else that plays this game? <laughs> no, good shit, man. The dude had the flak jacket. Oh, uh, that would have been nice, though. That was like a direct hit with the C4, and the flak jacket sponged it. But I'm telling you guys right now. Plus, there's a perk in Call of Duty Ghosts, the, the takedown perk, where the skull doesn't appear. A sniper gets owned, but uh, the skull does not appear, so you can't see your teammate repeatedly getting murked over and over again on your team. <laughs> so you, check, you could be sitting at the back of the map with your attack insertion, the takedown perk, just boosting your ass off, getting the field orders, completing the field orders challenge, chem striking everybody on the map. I'm telling you, dude, we're going to see a major problem with boosting in Call of Duty Ghosts. I think you guys know I'm right. <laughs> I think you guys know I'm right, man. No theater mode. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Tack insertions. And hey, look at this. Oh, that should have been a double. How is that not a double? How is that not a double? Watch me play these guys right here, fellas. Watch this. So, these guys are all to my left. I'm in this room. I know they're all here. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to play these guys. I'm just thinking of pre firing. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Get on. And I'm going to pre fire this dude. There you go. That's all you can do, guys. Just stray. For every situation like this, just stray from pre fire. Look at these dudes fall all right into my trap. That's just being a heads up smart player, dude. Now, look. I'm. These guys are, uh, that should have been a kill right there. These guys had a shock dildo, and uh, I had a feeling that the enemy would try and make a play on them knowing they're shocked, but I just got beat to the punch. Uh, my teammates shot him before I could. Sometimes these things just happen, you know, but uh, anyway, fellas, I am going to link you guys a gameplay in the description, a Call of Duty Ghosts gameplay, a cranked gameplay where this dude's using a shotgun. I don't know what shotgun it is. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the description because you guys are all smarter than me. Um... Watch this lightning strike. Watch this. Ready? Come on now, son. Come on. Come on. Eat it. Bam. 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 Three piece. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> um, there's a shotgun gameplay in the description, guys. And I am excited about this shotgun gameplay because I saw plenty of hit markers. And while I was watching this gameplay, I was thinking to myself, oh, my God. If that was the Remington, these dudes would have been gone. These dudes would have been dead. So check it out. Link in the description. Full gameplay. You better watch it before Activision does because I think... Activision might take it down. I don't think Activision's giving anyone permission to upload a full gameplay. Oh, headshot, biatch. I don't even know how I get a headshot on that guy, but whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, son. Uh, what else? What else do I want to tell you guys? Oh, yeah. I saw some patches in Call of Duty Ghost. There'll be a screenshot of those in the description. Guys, I've got some goodies for you in the description. Thunder's got you some goodies. Check them out. And, oh, here comes the Orbital VSAT. You can hide like a VSAT's up. It comes the spicy red nachos. I eat that up. You Oh, that's a sniper. Is that a sniper? Oh, yeah, it is. Let's get out of there, Thunder. Run away. I ain't fucking with no snipers, bro. <laughs> I ain't no way. I'm out of the way, so I'm, I'm, 
I'm gonna go someplace else. I ain't fucking with no snipers in this game. My teammate just saves my ass right there. Uh, I've got some goodies in the description, people. Uh, I've also got oh C4 sandwich to your face, bitch. I've also got um, the assault streaks. Not all of them, but I have a screenshot that shows the assault streaks going starting at three and ending at fifteen. So as of right now, guys, the assault strike package, the top streak you could get, looks like it's going to be a fifteen point or a fifteen kill streak. And bam, bitch, C4 sandwich to the first. Relentless. I like that. Oh no, was that ruthless or relentless? Damn, I can't read, man. I need to go back to school. <laughs> Yo, am I too old to go back to college? <laughs> oh my god. And it comes the lightning strike. Um, I think that's all right. The uh, assault streak going up to 15. And hopefully it's useful. Not like the other, uh, what was the high streak in uh, in MW3? The Osprey Gunner. You call that thing in to get shot down in two seconds. Get on, baby. So, let me know what you think, guys. We talked about some things as commentary. We talked about the boosters. We talked about the nine bang. I'll tell you one thing right now, dude. The boosting's going to be rampant. I know you guys don't want to hear it, but the boosting's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> Call of Duty Ghost. Mark my words. Anyway, it's Boy Thunder. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay commentary. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.